So Pants, could you uh, tell me about uh, your progress from three weeks ago when you first started practicing with the Vibrio Olympicus team to now physically, what has your progress been? Well, uh, on the first day, I, what was happening towards the end of the game or the end of the practice uh, was my, my left leg really wouldn't like move if I like unless I used my left arm to pull on it you know a little bit um, I spent my first day day after practice driving um, not being able to operate the clutch you know the car without like leaning over with my you know, my, my, my shifting hand and physically placing my foot onto the clutch and you know getting into the next gear so that was difficult but by, by this holy last, shit yeah uh, that's but, fucked up but by this practice, uh, I feel like even after a couple of beers, I'm going to be able to make it home, you know, pretty much just using my leg to operate the, operate the pedal. Um, in previous practices, uh, we noticed you were falling down a lot. We yelled at you, like Sean Payton did Mike Bell in 2009, to get some cleats. You got the cleats, and yet today, you still... Fell down at least one more time. Yeah, there was a there's a spot out there in the ground there. Uh, I don't think we should use that field. Oh, uh, yeah, that guy. It was circumstance. Yeah, I mean, also the the marathon, you know, is a good reason not to use that field. But also, there was a spot there that really kind of got me. Okay, you are married to and live with a massage therapist. Has she helped you out at all with your muscular difficulty? I think she's helped with the mental part of it. You know, like. Ow, honey, this hurts. You know, oh, how about if I touch it? And, you know, does that feel Are you better? talking about your penis? <laughs> Did you say, ow, honey, this hurts while you waggled your penis at your wife? No, nah, I'm not. And then that. she touched it? No video. You know, no comment. No comment. <laughs> so you're not denying it. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. How do you, how do you feel emotionally about the game coming up this Sunday? Well, I gotta tell you, there was a moment. There was a moment out there tonight. We played under the lights for the first time, and it looks different. We, were these the Friday night kind? Well, we, Thursday night. Today is Thursday. They were Thursday night kind. Right. Good. So anyway, so so it's a little bit darker, and, and think there's a different feel out there. And when that ball goes up in the air, and you're running under it, it goes up from. You can see it disappear for a minute, like in this brilliant white explosion. The stratosphere. Yeah. Yeah. And then you just have to have faith that it's going to come down on the trajectory that you thought it would. Gravity is, will pull it down. Back to where you can see it. But there's a moment where you have no idea what's going to happen. And then a second later, if you keep your eye uh, you know, in position, the ball comes to you. It just and falls then, into your hands. And that's what this experience is really like. You know, it's you don't know what's going to happen. It's exciting, and then there's the scary part. But I think in the end, it's going to be okay. It's about getting yourself between the ball and the earth. Yeah, before you fall on your ass. <laughs> could you throw a football over those mountains? I bet you, the fuck, I could throw a football over those goddamn mountains right now. Yeah, I tell you what. Also, if uh, back in '82. If coach you put me in, we would. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. Thanks, Jeff. All right.